Hey there, this is Axel with His and Hers Gaming, and I am doing an armor showcase for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and this one is for Ratchet. I'm showing off the armors that uh, you can find throughout the game, as well as the Deluxe Edition armors. Um, the ones that you find in the game all come with passive bonuses that you get no matter what. You don't have to actually have the armor equipped. They are always there passively. So you can mix and match your armor for whatever fashion you like. I'm going to be showing them as sets. And so this is uh, him just normal. I'll be showing it rotated like that. And then here's how he looks just normal outside. And he has kit currently. So here he is in Galactic Ranger. This is Ratchet wearing the Galactic Ranger. Galactic Ranger uh, full set reduces melee damage or increases your melee damage by 20%. So this is what it looks like on him in game. Uh, next up, you've got Robot Pirate. Robot Pirate reduces damage from pirates by 20%. It has kind of a wicked look to it. This is what it looks like on him. And this is what it looks like in-game. Next up, we will have Carbonox Advanced. Urbanox Advanced has kind of a black and red look here, but it tends to look more silver in game. Pretty sweet looking, slick setup either way. And that one uh, re increases bolts gained by 20%. Yeah, see, it seems to be a little bit more silvery, depending on what lighting you're looking at it in. That's the Carbonex Advanced. Robot Disguise, number four here. Re uh, damage from nefarious enemies is decreased by 20%. Again, these are passive, and you get these bonuses whether or not you are equipping this armor, so you can mix and match to whatever you like. There's that, and I believe this is the armor that um, Rivet is wearing when she's escaping towards the beginning of the game. And that's what it looks like in game. Ask you a question as a Lombax? Next up, we've got Lombax Praetorian. Um, Max Praetorian looks pretty sick on him. That's uh, just a quick look of it on him. Uh, sure, but and I'm not in really game, an I'm kind of the last one in my dimension. No, I'm from another dimension. Yes, I know. You do? I am Gary's apprentice. Hmm. There we go. That is Lombax Praetorian armor on Ratchet. Here we go with the Q Force armor. Q Force armor. Uh, it reduces damage from goons for less. <clears throat> and it is green. Very much green. In game, this is the look for it. And again, I'm doing this with kit on my back because you have kit on your back for a lot of the game, so that's what you're probably going to be looking at. 
Uh, moving on from Q-Force, we're at Captain Star Shield. Finding this set increases your XP gained by 20%. I will at some point do a where to find video for all these as well. Here is the Captain Star Shield armor on Ratchet. Just in the menu. And then here we go on in game view. And that is Captain Starshield. After Captain Starshield, we have the Wasteland gear. Here is our Wasteland gear on Ratchet. This one uh, reduces damage from indigenous creatures by 20%. So, you know, the land sharks and sand sharks, whatever they were called and stuff like that. Um, here's the, the quick look at it in game. Kit fits nicely with that look. And I believe now we're getting into the Deluxe Edition stuff. Yeah, Hacker is first of the Deluxe Edition sets. There's a futuristic hacker looking thing. Makes his arm look like he's got a prosthetic. And here's a quick look in game. What did you want to know about the Lombax? Um, after Hacker, we have Rebellion. Rebellion is a well, rebel outfit. There we go. We believe the Lombax is used, and perhaps and these are again are deluxe the edition. They don't give Do you, you know any would have built them? um really. any bonuses for deluxe edition. I see. But um. They do have, I mean, they are cool looking. And the other ones only give you bonuses when you find them. Uh, and the bonuses are, oops, are no matter what. So once you have everything, you can mix and match to your delight and fashion it up. Move into the android look. This is Ratchet in the android armor. Makes him look as if he's a robot, full prosthetic. Gives him a complete robot look, replacing his look, not covering it. Um, and here is an in-game look at it. There we go. After Android, we've got Imperial. Imperial is a sleek, futuristic looking white and orange aesthetic. And here it is on Ratchet. And here it is in game. Looks kind of out of place on him in my opinion, but you know, whatever people like. And then last but not least, we have the scavenger outfit. Scavenger outfit is a punkish looking sort of purple aesthetic, purple and black. Comes with the deluxe edition, no bonuses involved in it, just cool looking. Kind of jarring against his uh, orange fur looks a little bit better on Rivet than it does on Ratchet in my opinion, but 
again, this is all up to opinions and matter of taste. So that is all of the armors on Ratchet. And this is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for the PlayStation 5. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if we've helped you out. I will be coming out with more videos for other video games, especially PlayStation 5 exclusives. And I'll be uploading in 4K whenever possible. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe.